What's up everybody, my name is Jared Kaufman. I'm the 20 year old lead carpenter out here in Denver, Colorado. Today we're gonna to be building a roof that's gonna be sitting on top of this house. The only thing is we're gonna be building that roof right here inside this garage. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're actually gonna cut plates that are gonna sit on top of our walls. A typical wall in Colorado is framed with a double top plate. So the walls that are going to be up there are only going to have a single top plate and we're going to put the double top plate on the floor inside this garage and then we're going to build the roof on top of that. We'll get it all framed up, sheeted, buttoned up nicely, and then we'll crane the whole thing out and set it on top of the wall, tying the double top plates together. So this here is my stack of trusses. I've got three main trusses that are going to go in the center of the roof. I've got four hip trusses that are going to come diagonal off of those. Then I've got my jack trusses. There's eight of those that are coming off the sides. And then in the center of all these are some mid trusses that are going to basically fill in the middle section of it. Once all that's in, we'll tie it all together with subfascia. We'll get it all braced up and then we'll get it sheeted. So what I did here is I stacked both my pieces on top of each other so I only had to mark two times for two different measurements. Then when I cut the top piece, it went through and scored the bottom side so I could finish that through and both pieces would be exactly the same. So, since there's nothing tying these two plates together here on the concrete, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cutting a piece of this strap, about two feet or so, and I'm gonna be nailing it to the outsides of them to wrap them together and keep them from wanting to pull apart while I nail this all together. plans for this roof here on my phone and I'll throw this up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about as well. So the way that I'm standing is exactly the way that the roof is going to be sitting, which means that where I'm standing right here is relative to where it's going to be sitting up on the roof right there. So typically on a roof system like this, the layout is always going to be pulled from the corners leading towards the hip. So I know that from each corner I'm going to be pulling from here two foot and go. So two foot to there, two foot to there. Same thing back this way. Two foot, two foot, two foot. Part of my amazing drawing skills. The same will go from this side. Two foot, two foot, two foot, two foot. Just like that. The first trusses I'm gonna set are gonna be these H2s you can see here. That'll go right there. I'll then throw this one up in the middle between them to tie them together. From there, I'll set the JH6s on all four sides. And then the JC3s and the JE2s all the way up. And that is what's going to comprise the framing of this roof. is install one of these goofy looking things. This is what I call a hip hanger and what manufacturers call a THJ A26. So this is gonna sit right here and it's gonna hold the truss going that way and it's gonna hold the truss going this way. So 
done with these hangers in, it's time to set our hip trusses and our jack trusses. Now that we have our jack and our hip rafters in and framed, it's time to set our smaller jack rack, or jack trusses, sorry. So, it might seem tricky to get your layout, but really all you need to do, we have our two foot layout down here. We set that right on our mark. Get it nailed in. Grab the top. Slide it up where the corner is nice and flush. And after that, you just check the bottom. These trusses can vary in their sizes and their consistencies due to just human error at the truss. You can push that down and get it flush. And that'll get you your perfect layout every time. got our fascia set in. We cut all the tails to line up because they don't come perfect from the truss manufacturer. So we got them all lined up. We got our hurricane ties on the plates and we got our blocking at the top. So we're ready to sheet the heels of the trusses and then we're going to sheet the top of the plate.
finished and sheeted up. Fully nailed off all the way on the edges, all the way nailed on the fascia. And we also noted this out. This is our pick point for where we're gonna attach our brackets when we boom this thing up. That is the girder truss on this corner and this corner. So that way when we're lifting it, it's holding the trusses that are holding the hangers that are holding about half of this roof on just those two. So that'll be a really solid point. All that's left is to stamp our logo on this bad boy so that any low flying aircraft can uh, know who built this house.